have a new uh, LCD display. It's got I2C, uh, SPI, and RS-232 TTL um, communication to it, which is uh, pretty handy. It's also backlit, but um, the claim to fame is I wanted to learn a little more about I2C, which actually I don't really know a whole lot about. But um, I'm going to solder, solder some leads onto it for the I2C. Also, there's going to be a jumper that has to be put in here, so I'm going to do that also. So I'm going to put it in here. By the way, it's, uh, it's labeled New Haven Displays. And I've got my soldering iron. Alrighty, so... On there. I'm take uh, some regular wire here and put that back. And strip it. Also get a tenant here. Messy, but I believe that'll do the job. Alright, so I'm going to take a female header, and I've already determined that four connections need to be made are, are going to be right there. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to flip it over. Big enough? Nope, not quite big enough. Alright, this is a fun gizmo site. This is where I got the uh, LCD display. This is 16 by 2 character LCD, serial I2C, SPI, RS-232 TTL. Alright. Uh, yeah, they're pretty, uh, pretty good and putting some sample code onto the page. And, oh, here it is. So, uh, here it is. Yeah. So basically I just took and cut and paste all this code and it's from Will P. Thanks a lot, Will. And it, it's pretty good. I basically just I did a little edit on it to, to give it the text I wanted. And uh, Jam Arduino put up uh, some pictures and you know kind of expounded on the uh, pinout and the location of putting the jumper that you saw me put in. 
and uh, that was pretty helpful. So basically all I did was cut and paste the code, solder on the leads, and uh, got, some, got the thing to work with I2C. Very good. Alright, here we are. So this is what I did. Got this hooked up, got my Arduino, and it's uh, Altoids in. And basically just uh, power, it's backlit, and then I just used two of the uh, analog ends. And it works pretty good.